Okay guys, we're back in my wife's account here and in the previous video I had showed you how to add this uh, business, uh, to, to add this page to a partner, to assign a partner essentially. And we were assuming that there was going to be a marketing agency that was going to be doing some, some work on our page and our ad account, right? So I had gone and clicked on assign partners and then there was two options on the page. There was get link to share or business ID. I use this option here, get link to share. Um, and then I followed up on the, the other computer that I'm using to show you from their perspective, the marketing agency, how that would be uh, accessed and added on their side so they could begin working. So we can see over here, back in my wife's account though, under partners, we can see we now have this marketing agency showing up here. And then if we needed to, we could go in here and we could adjust their rights. So I could turn these uh, toggle switches on or off and then adjust via the save button and then I could also get rid of these guys too. So under that little uh, gray box you can see it kind of hides but there's a, a trash can so I could get rid of these guys and kick them out of my uh, out of my page. And that's something important too. If you're working with someone and you decide to fire them, if they're not performing to what you're looking for, you can always uh, you should always remove them from your your page and your ad account after they've been completely fired. Okay. Now, what I want to show you now, though, is I want to show you how you can add that same marketing agency to an ad account because they're going to need access to both the page and the ad account. So let's go ahead and do that. But from for this time, though, when I go in and add them via ad account, I'm going to use that other option of business ID. So let's do that. I want you to see both ways. So let's go to ad accounts. And we've got our ad account here for Framingham window cleaning. Uh, you can see under partners, there's no one listed under partners. So let's go ahead and click on assign to partners. You got the option there and you got it right there. Either one works. So let's go ahead and click. This time we're going to use business ID. So I'm going to go ahead and click on business ID. And they would need to give you their business ID. Okay. So before you can actually move forward with this, they got to give you the business ID. So I'm going to go ahead and enter that in real quick. So that marketing agency, they would have gone into their business settings section into business info and then grab their business manager ID at the top up here. And this is what they would have given to you to add back on their side when they're adding an ad account or adding a page. And in a previous video, I had showed you that in business manager, there's different IDs. There's a business ID, there's a business page ID, there's an ad account ID, there's a pixel ID. Basically every one of these components here has an ID. So I'm going to take the business manager ID of my marketing agency and drop this in here. So this would be what your marketing agency that you're working with, the guys that are going to be running your ads. This is what they would be giving you to add in here. So it's a really long number. It's probably like 15 digits long. Okay. And then after you get that added in here, you're going to need to give them rights. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to put manage ad account, but again, uh, you may not want to give them full rights. Um, and I also want to point out too, in this video, I'm showing you how this would be done if you're going to hire someone to do ads for you, but you also want to look at this from the perspective of if you're going to be running for ads for someone else, um, you can be doing this too. You would just need to give your business ID over to that other person to enter into this page. So you're going to walk them through this process essentially, but honestly, the easiest way is by sharing that link that we had created for the pages section, which you can do for both pages and ad accounts. There's just two different ways to do um, granting access of pages and ad accounts. I prefer the link uh, method. That way you don't transcribe the wrong number and it doesn't get really lost. Okay, so let's go ahead and click on next here. Let's click on done. And then that was automatically added. They don't have to accept it on their side. Um, over on their side though, it should show up as now having access to this ad account so that they could go ahead and begin doing work. I'm going to cut on over to that other uh, device, that other computer and show you what it's going to look like on their side. Okay. And we're back now on the side of the marketing agency, looking at my account under ad accounts, under business settings, we're going to see over here uh, under ad accounts, we're going to see uh, Framingham window cleaning is showing up right there. And you can see that Framingham Window Cleaning owns this. So this was automatically added in whenever on their side, on the other account, the Framingham Window Company, when they added in my business manager ID. I didn't have to do anything over here once they add that in. So now I could go ahead and begin running ads for Framingham Window Cleaning. 
All right, guys, moving on to the next video.